Ooh. He's so cold, my love. It's about to be a chilly week. Winter is upon us. We literally just totally skipped sweater weather. I know, because literally in the last video, I was like melting. <laughs> melting, dude. Melting. On, on the roof doing that fan. Absolutely yeah. awful. But yeah, horrible. So now we're freezing. It's like 35 degrees outside. Yeah. Cheers. Quick plug, you guys know we love chai wala chai. These chai wala chai oat milk lattes are keeping us going in this cold. It's so true. And in the warm, it's good all, at all times. They just hit, they really, really do. <laughs> Welcome back to yet another week of this van build. This is week five, halfway through. This is the halfway through week, after this week. Whoa! That's pretty cool. If you guys have not been catching these videos, this entire build is brought to you and sponsored by Moonfab, who are the creators of the Moonshade. This van, build is not for us. It's actually going to be for all of you. Moonfab is putting on this project to provide an opportunity for those of you guys who have maybe not ever had the opportunity to try out van life, uh, to take out this van, this actual van mm -hmm. for a short period of time. So if you are interested in hopping on that project and taking out this van, the application to get involved is in the description box below. Moonfab are also the creators of the Moonshade, which is the best awning on the market. We use it every time we go camping. You can set it up in less than five minutes. We've used it in tons of different countries, tons of different weather conditions, and we're using it now while we build to keep us warm and dry. So. Huge shout out to them. If you want to support a good company and get yourself a shade, go check them out. I feel like in most van builds, once you hit halfway, you go from like the bulk tasks, like insulate everything, wall yeah. everything, to the much more specific, but careful tasks, like yeah. put in a sink or like make yeah. cabinetry or yeah. like that. So our very careful, precise task this week is really to paint everything. But that includes a lot of things. It includes texturing things, patching up some holes, and putting the flooring down. It's really just gonna be a beautiful box at the end of this week. We said that last week. Well, we said it was gonna be a box. We didn't say it was gonna be a beautiful box. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Uh, that's very, very true. I'll give you that. All right, time to start the process of painting these walls. Now, you guys can see, maybe, hopefully, this seam right here where the pieces of plywood meet. Um, and we have one, two, three, looks like only three seams, um, but we want to make them really smooth. So we found this tape that is supposed to cover up the seams of drywall pieces. And because we're using like texture that's supposed to go on drywall on this plywood, I figured this tape would probably work as well. <laughs> I'm crossing my fingers. Just this mesh pieces and it's going to provide like a screen essentially for Spackle to go on top of and smooth it all out. Let's give this a shot. It's sticking. That was the thing I was really nervous about. She's pink. Right. Cute. Well, when she dries, she turns white. That's why you know oh, it. Nice. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Thank That's you. why I trust you with the speckle. <laughs> Baby, not to be rude, but like. Mm -hmm. You're about to talk some smack right before I mean, was that is my section right there. Baby, no. And then I, this is the rest I'm of it. I'm filling in the middle. I'm trying to conserve the speckle. Oh. You were like being a perfectionist on the first area. I'm trying to just make sure we can. <laughs> Spread it thin first, you know? All right. Get ahead. All right, I trust you. I trust you. <laughs> Soon as 
down with the spackle, which is why I'm covered in spackle dust now. <laughs> We're now gonna apply this ceiling texture knockdown to this. We did this in our last band. It works so well. It's effortless and it makes it feel like a real wall. Oh, <gasps> baby! Why did I do that? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, all right, I guess it's time to get going then. Shake it, baby. Yeah, shake it, baby. Shake it, baby. There we go. There we go. Cheers. We got our pink pink fits on lock. I'm oh, yeah. rocking my Canadian tuxedo with a weird shoe. <laughs> a water shoe. <laughs> I'm rocking chacos and socks and some wool pajama pants <laughs> that my grandma gave me like 10 years ago. The lowest temperature you can paint this at is 50 degrees. It's currently 54 degrees. <laughs> so hoping it doesn't drop, we are gonna do a rush of the Invis paint up there before it gets too dark and cold. All right. Time for a color reveal. Color reveal. <laughs> Yeah. That is gonna look super nice. So this is our gorgeous flooring. It's this, the most beautiful flooring I've ever seen. I, honestly, I think we need this in our house. Let's get a close up on this, hold on. So gorgeous. Tell us a little bit about it. So this is cork flooring and cork flooring has a few awesome things about it. My favorite thing about it is that it is insulating. So we actually didn't insulate the floor under the sub flooring because the cork does that for us. Um, My favorite thing about it is that it's one it's the most sustainable wood. You basically shear cork like you shear sheep. Yeah, literally, but off of trees, right? right? Yes. So, anyways, I'm even thinking like if thumbtacks can go into this like normal cork, maybe we need to make a whole cork board out of this um beautiful beautiful cork, put it somewhere in the van and like people can leave little notes to each other. I love it. How cute I, would that, that would be? be adorable. Look so, how good it looks with the colors of the van, oh my too. Goodness. I know. I'm so excited. We're really going for like earthy vibes in here. We, yeah. we want it to feel like you're outside in nature when you're inside the van. What we need to do is we're actually going to glue this down with some like wood flooring glue essentially. Um, but we need to make sure that everything is super nice and smooth without any of this paint on here or extra um, spackle and stuff. So I'm just going to do a quick little sand yeah. of this and then we can start putting the floor down. You're ready to lay it down, baby. Busting out the nail gun. Man, I love this thing. <laughs> Look at what we got here. So I got to correct. I was getting a little ambitious with one of the nails. Oh, really? Got to pull that guy out. But other than that, 
1000% sturdy. Hell yeah. Not going anywhere. And um, now it's ready for the flooring. The reason we did this today is so that we can put the flooring flush on top of this, perfectly on this. And then this will be the pretty part. We got a bunch of boxes of the cork flooring. Now we just need to decide how to fit them best. All right, show us how it's done, Milo. I don't know if I can do it right, but I've done a couple of them, so I'll try. Yeah, there's a big gap on Ah! Oh. <laughs> nah, I just have to pop it like that. Ah, okay. Ooh! Oh, oh yeah, it looks so good. Ooh. <laughs> it's so nice. Oh my gosh, this is literally the coolest flooring I've ever seen in my life. Far night. I know. Someday, when we build a dream house yeah. on land or something. We're gonna have this in it? We're gonna have this in it. Yeah. yeah. For I'm sure. Sick. Insulating, weatherproof, the most sustainable wood on the market. Incredibly beautiful. Also, you guys might not know this, but vinyl is one of the worst pollutants, period. It's horrible. And most of the flooring that we're looking at was vinyl, which is part of what made us have the decision to go with cork. So be aware of what you're putting in your van mm -hmm. or your builds, period, because vinyl is very, very nasty. This is so comfortable as well. I know. Oh my goodness. Know, like the yeah. foot feel is unreal. It's so nice. You know what I mean? It's so soft. Yeah. But durable. Wow, I'm in love with this floor. I, uh, honestly. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I love it so much. All right, you want to glue it down? Yeah, so badly. I'm not going to totally put it together yet because I'm just dry fitting it. Right. It'll be hard to get off, but we can at least sort get the feel. It. Get the 99% there feel. So we're definitely going to want to use corner pieces here um, to cover up a few imperfections let's call them like this sharpie marker what was i thinking but we've successfully cut around the step and i'm just gonna keep dry fitting the rest of this platform think should we just uh i don't know get a really like big l kind of shaped finishing piece prepare to be satisfied Ooh, okay cut that little baby piece like it was nothing like it was nothing hold on one sec nice nice love it love it love it love it Hell yeah. I don't think that's the best way to get the glue on, babe. At all. <laughs> all right, all right. It seems messy to bad. me. So cool. Try not to like go too close to the edge because I don't want to get this nice. Throw it on. Let's put her in. First piece, let's go. She's not going anywhere. starting to come together for sure. Well, thanks again, guys, as always, for coming along with us on this build. Thanks again to Moonshade for sponsoring this video, this entire build, and this whole project, making it possible for you to hopefully use this van someday. If you guys are liking the look of this van and you're just sitting behind your keyboards and you're thinking, man, I would love to get out there and stop watching videos and actually try this lifestyle out. Guess what? You can. That's what this project is here for. So go down to the description box, 
Click on the link there to fill out an application. Just check the application out, see if it would be interesting to you. We're doing this so that people can get out and enjoy the van and we really want that to happen and we already are so excited about the applications we've gotten. So, please go submit your application if you are interested in taking this van out for yourself next year. Next week, we're gonna be working on building the kitchen cabinet, right? Kitchen cabinet. Hell yeah. So stay tuned and we'll see you then. Okay, bye guys.